Okay, we're going to uh, continue off where we left off last. We learned about arrays. We learned how to initialize arrays to zero. But at least they're initialized. And we know that they'll be initialized to zero here. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> let's come back to random numbers here. One of my favorite topics. Okay, so first we're going to uh, output a random number here. So remember the random number takes this piece here. Mod. And then let's say we want to output let's say we go to 10. So what this will do this will output random numbers from 0 to 9. It'll output a 0 or a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6 or a 7 or a 8 or a 9. That's it. So let's go ahead and run this see what happens. <coughs> And then it outputs an 8. Now let's try to run this again. It outputs a 1. It outputs an 8 again. It outputs a 1. A 4. A 1. So 1's are popular. It's a 7. But it's all random though. A 4. If I wanted to predict what would come next, based on the last few numbers, I couldn't predict it. Because it doesn't matter what the last few numbers were. It's still going to output a random number between 1 through 10. And it's going to be evenly. It's evenly picked. Because we don't know what's going to happen next, and these because they're random numbers, so that's what that's just how it is in nature. It's just random. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> well, what if we want to print out a few more numbers here? So this is kind of a rehash of lesson uh, 18 about the random numbers when we introduce it. So let's say while count is less than 10. And we'll say, uh, we'll output a random number, mod 10. Count plus plus, so we can increment count. And I want to output an, an end line here. And notice I didn't make a variable with count in it. int count equals zero. Let's make this a little smaller so we can see it. <coughs> okay. So this is what we have here. <coughs> Remember this piece here just allows us to generate random numbers at it. Just randomly. Let's see. So zero two four three zero zero seven zero eight eight. Okay, so some numbers didn't get picked, some got picked more than once, some only appeared once. Let's try to run this again and see what else we get. 6780265574. Alright, I mean, that's kind of random. We don't know what's going to happen though, but we all, all we know is that the numbers are going to be between 0 through 9. Let's say we did this with 20 here. Okay. So now <clears throat> we have some choices here. I mean, it just prints, it's the same thing, it prints off numbers 0 through what? 0 through 19, right? Because that's it, it only goes one less number here. So let's, let's just make, a, let's make another variable here. Let's say, uh, let's call it, um, let's call it chance. Okay, now let's say, let's just say chance is equal to rand mod 20. Okay, <coughs> um, let's just output chance here. What's going to happen? Nothing. The only difference, we won't, we won't see a difference. The years won't see a difference. The only thing that we're doing is we're taking up more memory. The last program just didn't take up as much memory because we initialized a new variable and it does the same thing. Okay. So that's just base that's what it that's what we're doing here. We're printing the random numbers to the screen here. <coughs> Alright. So this is that's basically 
the thing on the random numbers here. We need to include the from the last video, the last couple of videos. We need to include the C time, and we need to include this statement here. Otherwise, we'll run into the problems. If you want to see the problem, watch lesson 18, and we'll see the problem here if we when we don't include it. But to generate the random numbers, we need to include this here now. Let's um. <clears throat> let's say we can make a game out of this here. So let's uh. Let's say uh, we get rid of these variables here. Let's say we have another variable. Let's say we make a new variable called coins. And this will equal 10. Okay? Whoop, what did I do? I don't know how I did that. I didn't do it on purpose. Now let's say we do something else here. Let's say, um. Oh. Uh, Let's say we make if um <coughs> let's say we make another let's say we make another variable called boolean. And let's call it um play. And let's set it equal to true. Alright. So then we'll say while play right here, so while play equals true here. Now, since it's already a boolean, this boolean statement, we can just say while well, play. So basically, a play could train, turn into false somewhere along the loop. And let's say I don't want to play when I when I ran out of coins. So coins greater than zero. So it's first of all, play has to be true, and the coins has to be greater than zero. That's another thing here. So for this whole thing to be considered true, this half has to be true, and this half has to be true. And I can add more conditions too, if I'd like. But all right now, those are the only two conditions: play has to be equal to true, and coins has to be greater than equal to. That at first. So, <coughs> let's say um, let's say uh, let's say we make a enter a bet. Okay. All right, so let's let's pretend that like, uh, this is a, a heads or tails game. Like we're just like little second graders, and you know, I ask <clears throat> my friend to say, "Hey, let's make bets here, depending on if it's heads or tails." This is uh, all by chance here. Okay. Enter a bet. Now, <clears throat> let's say um, we input bet. Right, and uh, let's say we make another one, comma bet, and then we'll say, uh, okay, uh, we can make another one, chance, chance is equal to random. Now, a coin only has two sides, right? Oh, did not mean to do that. Alright, so. Chance is equal to rand mod 2. Okay. So then we're going to say, um. If bet is now if rand if chance is equal to zero we are going to lose here right if chance is equal to zero because remember it's only going to be zero or one here because this is random on two bet or our coins is equal to coins minus bet, right? So we're going to take our coins. <coughs> we can say uh, coins minus bet. So we're gonna say we're going to have ten minus whatever we bet. So we'll we'll run through this here. Else, I apologize. I should have typed this up before before I ran this here, <coughs> but I didn't. So we'll see how long this video goes overboard. 
I'll remake it and have it pre-typed up. Else, coins. If we didn't lose, that means we won, right? That means we're going to have coins plus bet. And then it'll say, um, do you, do you want to bet again? And, uh, we'll make another variable with a character. We'll call it choice. Okay, choice doesn't exist, so we'll make a char here. Then we'll finally do the uh, if choice is equal to. Now keep in mind that characters have to be. C++ will know it's a character if you put it in single quotes here, so that's how we know. If choice equals yes. Actually, we can say if choice does not equal yes, we will, um, remember, this is the not equal here, so choice, as long as choice doesn't equal yes, we'll say that play is equal to false. So we also have the not equal, so if we type in any other letter, like <coughs> n, we'll We'll execute this statement here. Okay. What's wrong with this else here? You're expected a statement. Huh? Oh, look, I put a semicolon on, on right here. That's what, that's the problem. Okay. Now we're good. Alright, so this isn't the most efficient code here, but let's say we enter a bet. Let's say we bet one. Do you want to bet again? Let's say we say no, and it terminates. Well, we didn't even see our coins, did we? Well, that wasn't very cool, was it? <clears throat> so let's say we uh, do a system here. Now, this is going to be something new. It's going to be CLS. Now, we'll see what that does in a second. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to output coins here. And then we're going to output coins. So basically I have two C out statements, but that's all right. Enter, we so coins 10, enter the bet. Let's say we bet 2. Do you want to bet again? Yes. Well, now we have 12 coins, right? It didn't tell us if we won or lost, did we? But we did win since we now we have 12 coins now. Notice what the clear screen did. The CLS here, basically what it does, it clears this whole black screen and it retypes in what we have again. Let's say we say, let's say we bet 12. Do you want to bet again? Yes. We got 24, all right. Let's say we bet seven and we hate no. Well, that's not very cool, but basically we're <clears throat> we just made our. I guess we do. Guess this is our first game. Now I wouldn't be able to go on the market and sell it. I mean, it's not that exciting, but we can just kind of soup this up here. <clears throat> so basically, we're we're making a a game here. And uh, let's say uh, if chance equals zero, C out, and line. Or actually, I want to show you the, the escape sequence. Backslash N is a new line here. You lost. Else, we're going to C out. Backslash N. You one. Put an exclamation mark on it to make it exciting. Okay. <clears throat> so we got some random things here. We got ten coins here. We have a bet. Let's say we bet five coins. You won. Do you want to bet again? Yes. 
Now notice this new line here. See how this is all on one line here? Let's say I enter no. Do you want to bet again here? Now if I put a, uh, a backslash if I put a backslash in here at the beginning, that's going to be considered as one character as a new line here. So this game is getting more and more cool. So let's say we bet seven coins. I got seven pennies. You won. Do you want to bet again? Yes, I want to bet again. But now I have 17 coins. Let's say I bet 17. You won. Is this random here? I've been winning every time. Do you want to bet again? Yes. Let's say I bet 34. You won. You want to bet again? Yes. Come on, 68. Let's. You lost. You want to bet again? Yeah, I want to bet again. But the program terminates here. What happened was, when I got to the end, the back at the beginning of this while loop here, my this part play was still true. I still wanted to play, which is still true. But the coins was not greater than zero, so I couldn't play again. So, let's say, just to make this better here, let's say, C out, um, backslash n, you have coins, coins here. And this is the, this is basically the program here. We're starting to, to get into some games here but uh let's say enter now here let's but there's we're going to continue this here in the next video so this tutorial is to be continued here because say we bet five you lost do you want to bet again it says you have five this time it lets me know that i have five coins before i have to enter so this is just basically the game here <clears throat> now uh, i'm going to continue this this tutorial is going to be continued here so here we go, seven coins, twelve, no. Alright, so that wraps this session up here, but this tutorials we're gonna continue exactly where we left off. Next.